Are you plagued with ugly roses? Well, we're gonna give you a lesson on how to prune them so that you have beautiful roses blooming all summer long. So here we have a nice Ragosa rose, ungrafted. So I wanna show you the difference. So if you just have a quick look down here, a grafted rose will have a swelling, an ungrafted is own root, and the new shoots will look exactly like the rose you have purchased. So you don't need to prune out those new shoots. What we're looking for when we're pruning a rose is we want to wait till the Forsythia is blooming. That way you know we're not going to get another hard frost and your canes that you leave are not going to get damaged. Then you're looking at this dead or diseased wood. Right here you can see we have a bit of a rose borer here and this is a wasp that lays its eggs right in the pith. So we need to prune this right out. You can see the wood is dyed all the way down. So this whole cane has to be removed. Uh, a simple way for you to get around this is when you finish pruning, use a little white glue just on top of your stems and that'll keep them from laying their eggs in there. So now we're gonna prune out the dead and weak wood starting with the one with the wasp borer. We're gonna take it right down, take it out entirely. Cause you can see both those shoots are gonna die out and what we have left is very weak and that's not gonna produce a lot of flowers this year. On the stem here, we have another one that can come right off in the center. This shoot is a little bit weak. So I'm gonna take out a few smaller canes that are left, stems that won't produce big flowers at all. A Little bit of a stub there. So what we have left are is a good balance of remaining canes. Um, these are strong young stems that are gonna produce a lot of flowers this year. What you're looking for is which way the bud is facing. So. I'm pruning here and my bud is facing out. So it's gonna grow away from the plant. These buds have flushed a little bit more and are ready to go. This one's facing straight up, so we're fine. And again, the last bud is the direction it's going to grow in. Again, I'm gonna take this one down. I've got a bud facing outside here and we're looking down for a viable bud. We'll go to there. So. There you can see we've got a nice shape. I know it looks a little stub, but I guarantee you a lot of flowers this summer. By not pruning, by leaving all those little branches, all you're going to get is a, is a lot of little flowers that will just fall over in the rain. Uh, you have to prune hard to get large roses. Some people get a little confused with tree roses, which have a little stalk or tree stem. So what you have to understand is they're grafted on top, and everything that sprouts from down below will not be the same rose that we have on top. What we have is a carpet rose on top here, uh, which is fine, but you still wanna do a little bit of pruning, particularly if you wanna keep the head more compact. So again, same rules apply. We're looking to prune out weak or old shoots, take them right out, try to make a nice clean cut, spin it around, have a good look, Anything with a really small stem really isn't, isn't gonna do a lot for you. So again, turning, turn it radially. It's easy for you to see. Sometimes uh, you will over prune because you're only looking at it from one side. So you can see we've taken out all the small shoots and now we have to look at what's left. So I think this one's crossed over. It's not adding a lot. So I'm gonna take that one out. This one dead center is a little weak. It's one of the original stems. So I'm taking that out. It's a little stub here I'm just removing. And then I'm I'm not, I'm pretty happy with what's left. So then we're looking to prune it to the bud that you wanna keep. So again, we're looking for an outward facing bud, outward facing buds, outward facing buds, outward facing bud. So here it's a little confusing because you can see if I leave this one, it's gonna cross over. So I'm gonna, so that one's a little tougher. So I, I'm going to leave it and then I may end up pruning this again down the line. Uh, here, this one again is a little bit tougher, but go to an outward facing bud and probably we'll go to that one. So you can see what's left. We have a fairly good balance. Uh, it's going to grow up. It's going to give you a first flush of flowers and then you can do a little pruning after that first flush. Remember, we need to deadhead after each of the rose blooming cycles. And uh, that's it. You prune, you'll have beautiful roses this summer. I promise you.